Hello students, welcome to this recall session of INI CET 2023 and uh, I hope all of you did very well in this exam and uh, I'm a bit surprised that so many from short subjects, in fact from dermatology also so many were asked and uh, we discuss all those here. So let us begin with this discussion. So first question here, uh, this was based on alopecia. So as we all know that alopecia can be scarring and non-scarring type and they asked about non-scarring type of alopecia is seen in all except. So alopecia areata, androgenetic alopecia and telogen effluvium all cause non-scarring alopecia while frontal fibrosing alopecia is the one which causes scarring or permanent type of alopecia. So that's why this is the one which do not cause non-scarring and that's why this is the answer here, okay. So non-scarring are the examples of alopecia areata, androgenetic alopecia and telogen effluvium. So this was a very easy question in my lectures also I have discussed this and I always tell this mnemonic to all the students that sare A or T wale kaise hote hain? Yes, non-scarring. So A or T wale, ke alawa bachta hai parental fibrosis. Moving on to the next question, there was one image which came, okay. So, if there is any change in the language of the question or if you find that there is change in the option, you can just uh, type in the chat box. So, there was a question and they asked that image of the trunk was given. As you can see here, this image was given and it was mentioned that non-itchy scales were present and they were present where in the periphery so this is very characteristic of which condition yes it is very characteristic of petriasis rosea where you will find that such lesions are present like you can see here these erythematous lesions that is herald patch having a scaling which is present at the periphery that is colorate of scales so here answer is Petriasis rosea and there is one fir tree or Christmas tree like pattern also which is seen. So answer here is Petriasis rosea. Obviously this is not lichen planus where five P's are seen. Lichen planus don't have worn off ring or Christmas tree pattern. Christmas tree pattern is characteristic of Petriasis rosea while worn off ring is seen in psoriasis and this is obviously not seborrheic dermatitis though garretage test is seen in psoriasis. So there was one question which was on match the following and these uh, options were given and they asked that which type of fluorescence is seen. So, here you can see erythrasma. Now, already this question has been asked so many times. So, in erythrasma, coral red colored fluorescence is seen. While in petriasis versicolor, yellowish fluorescence is seen. In tinea capitis, green fluorescence is seen. While in vitiligo, milky white fluorescence is seen. So, you can very easily match these and pink fluorescence is seen in porphyria. So, in porphyria, if you examine the urine of the patient, you will find pink fluorescence. So, you can very easily match these conditions and the finding on the wood slab. Then, there was one question, uh, clinical history was mentioned uh, and there were two points which were given that a patient with blisters had suprabasal acantholytic split. So, patient with placid blisters having suprabasal acantholytic split and the second statement was that tombstone's appearance is feature of pemphigus vulgaris. Okay, so these were the two points which were mentioned and in these two points, they asked that statement 1 is true while statement 2 is false. So, let us see these statements that the patient presenting with flaccid blisters and has suprabasal acantholytic split. Now, this is a feature of pemphigus vulgaris where suprabasal lesions are seen, acantholysis is seen and here flaccid blisters are also seen. So, they are talking about pemphigus vulgaris and this statement is absolutely correct regarding pemphigus vulgaris. Now, tumor stone appearance is also a histological finding which is seen in pemphigus vulgaris. So, this statement is also correct. So, both the statements are true. Now, what is row of tombstones appearance? Row of tombstones appearance is that the keratinocytes, they start separating from each other due to which this tombstones like appearance is seen. 
while suprabasal split that is acantholysis occurring just above the basal layer okay so both are true but the second one is not the correct explanation of the first the acantholysis is not taking place because of the row of tombstones appearance but because of the acantholysis sometimes what happens both these things occur that is suprabasal split also occurs and tombstone appearance also occurs so that's why the answer will be both are true but the second is not the correct explanation of one So this will be the correct answer here that both are true but second does not explain one. Yes, so third will be the answer. Then there was one question where they mentioned about PDL1 inhibitor. Okay, so in this question they mentioned about PDL1 inhibitor and they said that IgG deposits. So in the chat box, can you just comment that uh, was this mentioned in the question PDL1 inhibitor? So patient was taking PDL1 inhibitor and IgG deposits were seen. The lesions were itchy, so itchy lesions were present, and on DIF, that is direct immunofluorescence, shows such pattern which is shown in the image. And in the image, what you can see, you can see a linear pattern. You can see a linear pattern. Yes, so anybody can just type in the chat box that uh, did they mention about PDL1 inhibitor? Yes or no? Do you recall that? So, atezolizumab is one drug which is mainly used for cancers, and this is one PDL1 inhibitor. Okay. And so, uh, do you recall that this was mentioned and there, there are chances. So, if you see the side effects of this atezolizumab, you will find that there are chances of bullous pemphigoid. So, patient can develop bullous pemphigoid after taking these drugs. Okay, and this is one of the side effects and here all other features are also suggestive of bullous pemphigoid. Why bullous pemphigoid? Because in bullous pemphigoid, IgG antibodies are seen, IgG antibodies are seen and here itchy tense blisters are seen. So, tense blisters are seen and itching is also present and on DIF what happens that these IgG antibodies they go and deposit because they are targeting BPAG2 and BPAG1. So, they go and deposit in the basement membrane zone and because here if this is epidermis and if this is dermis in between is basement membrane zone. So, such linear pattern can be seen. Student have confirmed that yes, PDL1 inhibitor was mentioned. Okay, so there are chances of bullous pemphigoid after consuming these drugs, and other features are also suggestive of bullous pemphigoid. So here the answer is bullous pemphigoid, where such linear patterns are seen under DIF, and here itchy lesions are also seen, that is blisters, and IgG deposits are also seen. Now there were questions on the lines which are seen in dermatology. Now there are various lines which are seen in dermatology. There is one Blaschko line and as you all know, I have already so many times told you that these Blaschko lines are imaginary lines of skin development and they do not correspond to any blood supply, lymphatic drainage or anything else. These are imaginary lines of development of skin. So, Blaschko lines appear something like this and I hope such images were also given. So, these are the Blaschko lines which are seen, though there are other lines also which can be seen in dermatology like Langer lines. This is more important for the surgeons because these are minimal tension lines and they correspond to the underlying collagen fibers. Okay, so we give incision along these lines. So, these are important for surgeons while giving incisions and in herpes zosters, sometimes the lesions are along a particular dermatome. So, these are dermatomal arrangement or the nerve supply which is uh, present. So, these nerve segments or dermatomal segments are seen. So, these are not dermatomal segments. These are actually the Blaschko lines and there are various lesions or various conditions which follow these lines like uh, Ilvin like inflammatory linear, linear verrucous epidermal nevus. So, there is one condition, there are various other conditions also like incontinentia pigmenti. All these conditions, they follow these Blaschko lines. As I told you, skin tension lines, so skin tension lines or minimal 
So decrease skin tension line or minimal tension line, this is the name given to the Langerin lines. Yes, so actually these are Blaschko lines and uh, students told me that uh, there were two images, one of the trunk and one of the face. So I just googled it and uh, in few articles I found similar images. So that's why I have included in this PPT. Okay, so the source here is, uh, so Dr. J, the source here is Google. So moving on to the next question. So slap cheek appearance. Now all of you know about slap cheek appearance. This is seen in fifth disease fifth disease that is erythema infectiosum and all of you know that the causative organism is parvovirus B19. So parvovirus B19 is the causative organism. Now they are not just asking the or, uh, causative organism. What they are asking that this organism that is parvo B virus is associated with. Now you must be knowing that this virus just don't uh, cause this rash that is having a characteristic appearance that is slap cheek. Actually it can cause cessation of Okay, so thank you, Dr. Jay Shah. Uh, Petriasis rubra correlate scales bhi pucha tha. Yes, so we have already discussed this question. So, uh, Petriasis, so in the beginning, I already told you that Petriasis uh, rosia. Petriasis. Rosia and there is another condition which is known as Petriasis rubra pilaris. Okay, so these are two different conditions Petriasis rosia and Petriasis rubra pilaris. So, Dr. J, can you just tell me that uh, in the question it was rosia or it was uh, rubra pilaris? So, because this colorate of scales they are seen in Petriasis rosia. Okay, they are not seen in rubra pilaris. In rubra pilaris, islands of normal skin are seen. So, we have already discussed this question and I hope it is very clear. So, colorate of scales are seen in petriasis rosia. If that was there in the uh, option, that is the correct answer. So, it causes the cessation of red blood cell production. So, what this virus do? It causes the cessation of red blood cell production and that is why it can cause pure red cell aplasia. So, pure red cell aplasia and this was the answer. It can also cause aplastic crisis. or red cell aplasia. So, these, yes. So, this was there in the option and this is the answer here. Now, some students told me that there were few other questions as well, like there was a question on the incubation period. So, if there was a question on incubation period, we have already discussed various incubation periods of the STI infections, like uh, they said that there was a question on syphilis, where it is 90 days. And if there was any other question, you can just type in the chat box so we can discuss that. As per the recall, these were the questions from dermatology and I have tried to explain each one of them. So, let me just quickly tell you all the answers because uh, of the slow internet, some students have missed. So, they are requesting. So, the so one of the question was non-scarring alopecia is seen in all except answer is three that is frontal fibrosing alopecia it causes scarring alopecia rest causes non-scarring then question was asked that image of the truck was given non itchy scaly rashes were present with uh, scales at the periphery that is colorate of scales and they are seen in petriasis rosia so answer here is petriasis rosia then match the following erythrasma presents with coral red petriasis versicolor with yellow Tinea capitis with green and vitiligo with white fluorescence under wood lamp light. Then 60 year old female 
presented with blisters, two options were given. There two statements were given that flaccid blisters with suprabasal acantholytic split and tombstone appearance is feature of pemphigus vulgaris. Now both are correct statement, but the second does not explain the first. So that's why the answer here is this is statement that both are true, but second is not the correct explanation of the first. Then patient is on PDL1 inhibitor. PDL1 inhibitors they are used for various cancers. So, these are anti-cancer drugs. One of the example is atezolizumab and this atezolizumab or PDL1 inhibitors are known to cause or predispose for bullous pemphigoid and other features like IgG deposits on itchy lesions and DIF showing linear pattern are all features of bullous pemphigoid. So, that's where the answer here is bullous pemphigoid. These are immune checkpoint inhibitors. So these are immune checkpoint inhibitors. Then image based Leshko lines and organism which causes slap cheek appearance parvovirus associated with pure red cell aplasia. So thank you very much. This is all from my side. Thank you.